users out there, my name is Kim Ji Hyup, and my internet nickname is Sharky. And I'm going to show you a really great app today. It's called UPad. It reaches right here right now. So I'm going to launch this application. Uh, you can see uh, there is four modes here. This this one the star is the favorite. This one here is a note mode. Well, uh, this is my um, this mode here is a memo, and this one here is a PDF file. You could run, you could uh, input all the, you can call all your PDF files here. And this is a photo mode. I don't have any photos right now, but I will show you briefly right uh, at the end of these this uh, video. So uh, let's go with the PDF mode. Uh, there's a manual that the developer made right here. First if you open a PDF it shows you the whole page and which page you page you want to uh, move. So I'll just start with page number one here. All right. And if you see here um, if I touch this button here it shows the favorite mark. If I touch one here, uh, touch it here, it'll uh, able and this is disable. All right. So um, let's go by here. Thank you for purchasing uh, page preview. You know, if you press this button, it'll go to the next page. This to the previous page, and from here, this is the drawing mode right now yeah All right. this is the drawing mode so you could you know draw and you could undo it by tapping this and you could <clears throat> you could change the size of the pen you can make it really big or you know small and you can change the colors as well and press done and you can draw it and uh, if you want to erase it just press this and you could erase it you know like a eraser or you could press this button and if you just drag and it'll just erase the one that you just did and this is like a marker pen you could like when you want to highlight something really smoothly you just use this one if you want to change the um, color and the size of it, it's the same as the other pen tool. And this is like, as you can see, this is undo and redo. And oops, and that's the mode that I was going to show you, but it accidentally came in. Uh, this is the text mode, so you could, um, you could. It says typing mode here just put in here and if you see here just bend it here you can change the uh, backgrounds you could change the pink or you could make it white well, mostly uh, you know post it is like yellow so I'll just put it in yellow you can um, you can enlarge the size you can shorten it and you could just type in here with your um, keyboard you can change the color of the um, of your <clears throat> text. You can change it to black. It's, you can see it's turned to black. If you want to um, change the font, just go here, and you can change the size as well, like that. So I'll just erase this and put it down again, All right? And um, <clears throat> this is part uh, magnify you, uh, right here if you press this this is the uh, magnify mode as you can see um, there's there's cancel here if you can see here I don't know if you can see it here focus again yeah there's cancel here right and there's a cancel here so you can see that you know this part I'm zooming in 
and I could type inside. I'll just make it a bit a larger view. If I uh, if I make this larger by pinching, you can see cancel here. So I could type or I could um, write down oops, uh, just change it to a pen mode More, or that is great like you can see the types here, that is great so um, this mode is when you want to make like a um, really small if you want to write in a really small area and you don't have uh, really good space so you could just enlarge it just large it and then you could just write it on the bottom all right so I'll just erase I'll just erase all of it here oops I mean I'll just erase all of it okay I erased it all right now and next thing I'm going to show you is the best part of this app. I'm going to page two. It's a bit not focused. I'm going to page two. All right. Um, this is all that I've uh, showed you before. Uh, the best part of this app is you have. I don't know what to call this, but it's like a palm mode. Let's see what it says here. Uh, palm rest mode, it says palm rest mode. Uh, the best thing of this app that I think is like you could put your hand on the screen and it won't do anything because it's like protected right now so anything I do won't affect the writing. So if I write here and write down here you can see uh, I just accidentally press erase so here writing mode, pen mode make it focus again so I can write and it will be there and you could just if you don't want it anymore you could just press it again and it'll go to the bottom press it here it'll go to the top but if you want to like do it if you want to put it where you want you just drag it and just leave it and you could just write it from there like that so I think this is a really cool mode and I think mm, this mode is the only mode that which has from a, a note related app. So I think it's really cool. All right, so let's go and find another things that this could do. All right. Um I think I need to see the manual, so uh I just showed you this. I show you the magnifying input, right? Okay, and um, oh yeah, um, if I'll just press cancel, cancel, and go to the Notepad mode. the The best thing is like if you're doing music, you could, you know, you could draw a music score in your iPad, like. Uh, I like to, you know, make music, so I have a really, I have many musical apps in my iPad. Let's just make it to you. right? Like uh, you could draw. It's too small. Um, let's make it here. I, I like to, you know, make musical charts with here. I'm just briefly showing how to do it, you know. Uh, like that. You could draw music, alright, and um, you could just erase it. And if you don't want this memo, you know, you could change, you can simply change it by using this mode here, it's like change memo background. As you can see, it changes. 
there's a lot of another there's many sort kind of you know backgrounds that you could choose so I think this it's okay so like you could choose this and you could just draw it from here okay and oops go backwards and uh, what else this could do um, oops, not again. and oh yeah uh, you could make a grid as well just press this and then you can make a Uh, you can't see it from here that well, but if I change the background, I'll just change the um, color of the grid. Yeah, you can see that right now. So if you want to use it like as a note in school, you could just use it here like that, and and you could just oops, uh, just drag this and starting here to right, you know write things like hi I'm a sharky as you can see it's re it's really easy to you know um, write on this thing All right um, oh and you could you know do some posts I think I showed you this so I'll skip it and are there anything else that I oh and um, there's a export mode so you could export this uh, one note to your mail or you could uh, put in your uh, camera roll but one thing is like um, if you're using as a PDF mode then if you have like five sheets of five pages of PDF mode you have to uh, send it send your um, send it by email five times or you have to uh, do it five times to export I think uh, the developer will uh, you know solve that problem in the next upgrade and the last part is to um, show you show you the uh, picture mode is it okay um, if you press this button you could go to your um, photo albums you know save the albums all support and then it it's like it's here like uh, by your date so I'll just get one photo here and you can see it's here just tap this and it'll come so you could draw whatever you want you can make a, like a you can make a mustache. It's black. Uh, I just go up here and oh, and by the way, um, this part is you can zoom. This uh, is available in all modes, in PDF and note modes. So you zoom, make us, you know, make a mustache or whatever you want, or you could you know make a tattoo like that All right so uh, I'm getting limited on uh, the video length so I think I need to stop here uh, um, if you have any um, problems using this app you could uh, visit or you could mail the developer like here um, his mail is uh, pocket uh, pocky soft here pocky soft at gmail dot com uh, the developer is uh, his nationality is Korean so um, uh, I think you need to if you if you're like an English uh, using country then I think you should write it in an easy English all right so um, I think that's it all right, I'll see you in my next review. Okay, thank you.